Welcome ladies and gentlemen, my name is Diachronic, Joe Servant, this is Destiny 2 video, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Destiny 2 weekly reset for October 12th, 2021. And today is going to be the first day of the Festival of the Lost. There's still freaking candy up there. Every time there's candy in this damn tree and I have to go get it. But yes, Festival of the Lost is going to be the Halloween themed uh, activity for Destiny 2. It usually goes around three to four weeks and it starts today. And there's a bunch of different activities. Obviously, the main vendor here, Evil Levante, is the center of this event. And on top of that, we also have increased infamy for this week. Uh, when you want to start this, you just go to Eva, I guess, on each one of the characters. You get started with the festival mask thing. You pick one of your favorite masks. It really just doesn't matter. And then, and then, then there's all of this stuff, which should look pretty familiar. Oh, yeah, they turned it into ornaments. Oh, this is just good. The hell is a honk moon mask? What? <laughs> oh! Uh, yeah, so they got a bunch of new masks this year. Um, it, they all seem pretty straightforward. This is like the, the darkness, etc, etc. It doesn't really have anything that I'm really that interested. Maybe the hon honk moon, um, but it obviously requires a lot of candy, a lot more than I remember. Uh, beyond that, we obviously have a bunch of different bounties, which can give you a bunch of different experience, experience plus pluses, uh, bright dust for the main ones, and of course, repeatable bounties. For the rewards, a lot of them just have to do with the activities and the events, right? You just do the activities with the Festival of Lost Mask, or you get the Haunted Lost Sector stuff completed, or you do certain triumphs. Uh, this is the Sparrow, by the way. Ooh, nice red on the back. We wanted to get this Sparrow. We have the Weapon, which is going to be a Rapid Fire Energy. I don't think we needed a Rapid Fire Energy in this... This roll is not, it's not terrible, but I definitely would like other things. I assume there's going to be some random rolls for this as well, whenever uh, you unlock the first one. And then there's obviously the Braytech Werewolf and the Horror Story from the previous two years. We have an ornament for, or not ornament, a shader for whatever uh, class you're on. Looks very gold and green, which is very good with the style. A uh, emblem, some more mask options, and of course, mystery grab bags which will give you a bunch of different materials. So it does not look like the Haunted Forest is actually going to be in this event. It might, it might end up being in it, but I do think the focus is going to be those Haunted Lost Sectors and not actually the uh, Infinite Forest Haunted Forest, because it has not yet unlocked, but this little symbol is here, so maybe it'll just unlock later after a few quest steps. But for the moment, it's, it's not in the tower. Usually it unlocks right away, but it's whatever. In the case you haven't seen it yet, just go into the little uh, into the tree here. I think there's some candy in the other tree as well near Hawthorne. Uh, and then get a bunch of uh, free candy. I don't know, just kind of something fun to do. And then there's like a chocolate at the top, right? Yeah. Oh, actually, it's just candy. I guess they removed the chocolate strange coins. I don't know why. Wouldn't it be cool if like the uh, the traveler had like a fun little Halloween hat or outfit on it? I think that'd be pretty cool. You could play like a pumpkin. <laughs> could be a fun mod, you know, whatever. Anyways, moving on with the regular weekly reset. First up for the Nightfall, this week we have the Lake of Shadows. Unfortunately, it's not double ordeal rewards, but the Lake of Shadows is going to be one of the easier Nightfalls to complete. You can probably get a whole bunch of enhancement cores and the Ascendancy sh Shards because it's really easy to farm and really kill that boss very quickly. And when it comes to 100k, I think Lengen is probably your best bet. And unfortunately, because we did just get an update for this particular event, I cannot actually load up Raytech.org. So I don't know what Nightfall unique weapons are going on this week, but it's probably not what it was last week, which was the um, the sniper, right? It might be the palindrome this week, actually, considering we haven't seen it in a while. The Vanguard Strike Burn this week is going to be Solar Singe. The Rotating Crucible playlist is Team Scorched, one of the few PvP game modes that's just really, really fun, no matter what you have. Up next for the Europa stuff, first up, the Empire Hunt, we have the Technocrat, technically the harder one of the three but not that bad if you stand behind the boxes for the simulation we have safeguard which is going to be the one where you just defend the area the deep zone crypt raid challenge the core four taking place in the final boss encounter anytime you break off the little engines on the boss you have to break off all four before you pick up any of the balls which is the way most people do it regularly because it's faster for the vaults of glass challenge this week it's going to be out of its way taking place in the third major encounter the one where you actually kill the templar boss and in this encounter you just have to make sure that you block every single teleport which is, again, just the way that everybody does it anyways. This is new. Um, hey, look. Uh, it's an ad. <laughs> Which is a great way for me to tell you, if you were going to buy the Destiny 2 30th Anniversary Pack on Steam, check out my Nexus. Nexus.gg slash Link in the description down below, where you can buy all sorts of different Steam games. And it's the same price as Steam, but more money goes towards Bungie, and some of that money also goes towards me. So if you want to support Bungie more, Nexus.gg, link in the description down below. This was totally not planned. All right. And just again, just wanted to mention that Gambit is currently on double infamy right now. So if you want to get infamy for your challenges or whatever, you can do that now. 
Up next is take a look at Banshee's inventory to see what kind of weapons he has. First up, the Whispering Slab. Not my favorite because I do like Archer's Tempo, but it does have some accuracy stuff, which is pretty nice. And Fiberglass is really nice as well. The Long Shadow. I think this has Snapshot on it, and it's definitely going to be necessary for this kind of weapon. Following that first and last out, Auto Loading is excellent. Unfortunately, we do not have Assault Mag, and Demolitionist is also pretty good, so very close to being an optimal PvE roll. The Eternal Blaze on. This seems like a pretty damn good roll. Got some range options, some different sight options, full auto, and kill clip are pretty damn good for this particular weapon. So if you like lightweight frames, you need an energy, it's a pretty good option. The Outrageous Fortune, another 150 grenade launcher, and all 150s are trash. And then finally, we have Quick Fang, which is tireless one for all, and not a bad combo. It cannot have Relentless Whirlwind, however, I think it can have Relentless one for all, and one for all is a decent way to get damage. Which I guess tireless is a better synergy with one for all, so, you know, it's, uh, it's pretty good. And it has Jagged. So yeah, pretty good damn uh, uh, good uh, quick fang. Up next, let's take a look at Ever versus Inventory. Taking a look at all the Bright Dust purchases as well, we're going to take a look at this special event section. First up, we have the Ghastly Durance, which is, I think, a, an emote we did have last season, if you like that kind of stuff. We have the Le Lepidopa Devra, uh, which is a very interesting butterfly-like... Um, uh, I was going to say Sparrow. It's a ship. Yeah, yeah. It's a, ooh, I just realized it has little bumpers in the front. It's like a FBI car. For the other Bright Dust section, firstly, we have the Stranger's Brew, which seems like a, yeah, it's a multiplayer emote for a bunch of cauldron stuff. I think this one is new, because I don't recognize it. We have the Magnificent Dance, which looks like this. We have the Cat Ornament, which I think this one makes a meow sound whenever you pull it out, but I can't remember. I know, no, actually, this is the bat one. The, the cat one does a meow sound whenever you pull it out, and I like that one. We have the Sparrow Mad Machinery, which has this little shocky effect on the front, which is pretty nice. I don't think I've ever seen this one. We have the ship, which I have seen this one, the infested uh, OG ship from Destiny 1. If you like that, we have an ornament for the mask, which is going to be the Omnigal ornament. And these things are going to be somewhat rare to be sold during the event, so I would recommend it if you like it. We have the Ghost Projection, which is pretty straightforward. We have some Transmat effects for the Shattered Shriek. Come on, buddy, don't do this to me. You know, I'm just, I'm on a roll, and, and you know... It, it's just, it, it, I have, I, all I have to do is wait. I have to wait for like two minutes for this thing to stop. Oh, there it is. There you go. We did it. Uh, we have the, the spider one, arachnophobia or arachnophile, which is uh, something that not a lot of people like if you don't like spiders, but uh, maybe able to mess them up as well. We have the fallen arrival. We have the polished sea stone, which is, which is, hold on a second. This one's a weird one. It has like a very heavy green and some like oil on it. It's very interesting. We have the Vanguard Magnus Gloss. Uh, which looks like this. We have the Dawn and Dusk, which is very pink. Lots of translucence and shininess. Very visually assaultive. And then the Cerulean Divide, which I have si found some use on certain weapons, but uh, it really does matter which... Oh, and I guess the cape right here is pretty good as well. And of course, finally, we have the event section. If you don't know, this is going to be available throughout the entire event for, again, the three or four weeks. Uh, the new uh, armor set for the Hunter is going to look like this. Obviously, there's one for each of the characters. On screen, you'll see all the different armor sets. And I really am looking forward to this helmet because look at the size of that chomper. It looks great. And of course, you can buy a lot of these for Bright Dust and Silver. So if you have a lot of Bright Dust, you can buy the previous season's ones if you like them. Like, for example, this one. I did miss out on it. Again, the mask is really nice. A little bit of fur is pretty nice. If you want it, you have an opportunity to buy it yet again if you have pieces missing. Beyond that, obviously, we have a lot of different ornaments. Oh my god! You're kidding! <laughs> Wake up back. Nobody told me what level we were playing on. So apparently these two ornaments or these two ornaments for the mask are not available normally and you can only get them either for bright dust or silver at some point during the event. But this penguin mask, oh, this penguin mask. Oh my God, I might actually have to spend some silver or, or bright dust. Hopefully it appears during the event. And again, you can kind of just peruse this section. Ooh, just a little word test, I do like that. If you're interested in any one of these things, I think... Okay, I didn't make the noise. But I think this one, if you pull it out like while in a strike in the, in the world, it makes a meow sound. And I would recommend that one. And then the rest of them are pretty straightforward. There's a lot of Halloween stuff. This one looks really, really cool, especially with like any of the shaders. Like It really shades well and has a lot of really goodness to it. I would recommend that if you like a good-looking sparrow. And then, again, there's just there's the rest of them. If you wanted any of these things, there's a lot of different things across the board. All the way down and it uh, and the first parts obviously depends on what class you're on so if you want the one for the warlock for example if you want this armor set for the warlock you gotta hop on your warlock you know i never i never realized um how, when you put this weapon down like how close the back of this weapon is to your camera 
You, if you put this at maximum FOV, it's like, it's really like, it's, it's literally touching my eyelashes at this point. And finally, I just wanted to go over the different uh, mods that are available at the Compass, because it does change weekly. The first mod is the same, the melee, well maker, powered melee, final blow, combatant stuff, matching subclass, you know what it is. The elemental time dilation, which I think was here last time, where the time limited benefits can now stack. Picking up a void elemental well gives you additional class abilities, stuff, uh, energy. <laughs> Increase the lifespan of elemental wells you create, and then stasis shards count as stasis elemental wells for you, which is actually sounds really powerful because stasis crystals are really common when you just start blasting. Oh yeah, yeah, it says level 15. Yeah, I'm on 14. <laughs> Damn it! Anyways, that uh, that's gonna wrap it up. Oh, I did not know you could come over here. Okay, I thought there was gonna be like some window or something, but yeah, you can straight up just come on over here. Wow, I guess they never expected somebody to come in here, right? Just kind of, But if you stand still, they can't see you, and then they stop moving. But if you move again... Anyways. Huge thank you for everybody who is watching this video at this point. Make sure you come check out my live streams at twitch.tv slash link in the description down below. And of course, a big thank you to my patrons on Patreon. Specifically, a big thank you to Mom and Dad, Luko, Doctor Strange, Kali Allen, Joe Smith, Mike Stubachnos, Raymond Shoner, you, Panther, Casey Reagan, for the support on Patreon! I honestly don't think I could really say it much faster, but that's it. Hope you guys did enjoy. My name is Chronic, and I'll see you guys on the next one.